What's good about this? IFL TV proudly sponsored by Velas here at the Copper Box. Pierce O'Leary doing what you do best and stopping people tonight. And uh, yeah, what a way to kind of open your, your account on BT and under the Queensbury banner. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, what a way. I, I, can't, I can't actually remember the shot. It was really hard, but I don't know how it happened. It was so quick. Um, I had a bit of nerves going out there. Big, big platform. Stuff that I'm not kind of used to, you know, big stadiums. But um, listen, it's only a matter of time we'll be selling out stadiums like that soon. So we spoke in the week about kind of the managerial promotional stuff and the kind of boundary you had to get across and then sign in with Frank. Does it kind of feel like one chapter's closed and the other's opened and now that's just history and it's all about what goes on in the ring for you now? Because just keep getting written. Like it's, the pens keep on going. So um, listen, I'm happy with how things are. Frank was very happy. The manager was very happy. I mean, so was my team. So just keep on pushing. Yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, if you've got a chance to speak to Frank, what sort of things did he say? I know he's a boxing purist, of course, but he loves a knockout, Frank. He's very happy. He was uh, he was really, really happy with how, how it performed. He looked how it switched, he looked at head movement, he looked at it all. Um, told him I'm going to be his best investment. There you go. Not a bad start. Um, I know you're kind of one of your own uh, biggest critics at times because you kind of want to be a perfectionist, if anything. But aside from uh, the finish, which we know you're very good at, what other things did you kind of enjoy about your performance and things you perhaps felt weren't as good as, as could have been? Um, listen, everyone, everyone's always, the team's always something that was a great performance for, but for me, um, got a bit reckless in there. I knew he wasn't going to, I knew he couldn't hit hard. It wasn't front the power that he had that day, that hurt me. But I just, I got caught with a few shots that I shouldn't have gotten caught with. And then I just done the job myself. So with this knockout power comes kind of a big reputation going forward with the platform like you said a little bit of pressure tonight and next time I suppose it will be kind of less pressure on yourself but I don't know is there a bit of sign inside you that wants to keep keep this going or you can't kind of let that power dictate your career really can you? It's not, I, don't, I, don't, I don't rely on my power I just, I just want to go out there and put performance on I don't like I wasn't loading up there with that show I just went there picked me, picked me um, hunt him down wear him out mentally and then um, he came in and I counted him that was it I know you're not the man kind of doing the negotiating stuff uh, on the table and that, but are you going to be a hard person to match? Because there will be people looking and going, kind of someone I don't really need to fight when, when he can hit like that. Yeah, of course. Like, I've been hard to match all the time, do you know what I mean? And it's been a stress. So I can just control what I can control. Um, I just leave the rest of them, let them do. I know they're going to get me a fight, and I believe they're going to get me the right opponent. And then just keep on going from there. And maybe the next opponent, one with a strap on the line. I mean, you're kind of at that stage now where... I think everyone knows you're good enough to fight for some sort of title. Yeah, well, listen, we had we had multiple titles on the line tonight, and um, some that fell through, late pounds and stuff like that. So it, it was a bit of a disaster. So um, it went up and down like that all week. So listen, I always said I said like a profession, done my job, got the weight down, made weight, and um, this was only a pound all championship weight. So listen, I can't ask for any more. Do you know what I mean? I'm really looking forward to the next fight. Hope it's going to be for a toil and um, that's it then, just keep climbing the ranks, World Toil soon. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.